Kendall, you, you comfortable cutting like that, bud? Okay. Uh-oh. He's wasting my gas. <laughs> there we go. That is so much better, bud. Chick-fil-A Kendall. <laughs> it's first job. Your total will be twenty dollars, please. Okay, so I've got here for you twenty-two dollars, sir. Two dollars is my change. Have a nice day. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much. Looks like we got milkshake, and I got lemonade. <laughs> I got waffle fries and nuggets and a Chick-fil-A Deluxe. Thank you so much. Hello there, how can I help you? <laughs> yeah, I would like to order some pizza. Um, I would like to know, if you do you have olive pizza or mushroom pizza? Yes. Okay, I would like to have one olive and one mushroom and a slice of pepperoni, sir. How much is my change? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm hiding out in my bedroom. I have so many clothes to fold right now. I wanted to talk a little bit about pretend play and homeschool and how that helps me. I think that when I first started homeschooling, I started off by trying to buy things. Um, I know homeschool halls are really popular in real life. So like I just always felt like um, if I had all of these resources and materials, homeschool was just going to work itself out. <laughs> so I'm just totally obsessed with going to Ollie's or um, going to the Dollar Tree or finding things on Amazon. I mean, I really love doing that. I love going to pick up new homeschool things for us but lately I've been trying to make more wise decisions when it comes to things that I purchase and I think that the thing that has been helping me the most is allowing the kids to have a lot of free pretend play and a lot of times I feel really bad about it because most of the times my kids choice resource is paper <laughs> so um, they make a lot of toys out of paper. Yesterday we were snowed in with daddy and they made some paper toys um, to play store with. And that was what we did. They had a Chick-fil-A, they had a Pizza Hut, they had a grocery store. Hey girl. And they had Walmart. And they had a Walmart. <laughs> I tried to get them to throw in like a produce junction or a Wedgeman. You forgot something. Mwah, I love you. Close the door, please. So the kids really enjoy making toys out of paper. So yesterday they just used their paper and colored pencils and they just had at it making little pretend toys. Um, they created a whole Chick-fil-A, they created a Walmart, they created a, um, a Pizza Hut, and then I also had found these um, printables, money printables that I had printed out and laminated a long time ago. So I grabbed those. It was a lot of fun. And I'm going to be honest, I hesitated to film it at first because it'd be a lot nicer if I had um, some play money from... Melissa and Doug and a cash register and um, a really cool plastic setup of all the fruits and vegetables and things like that. And to be honest with you, I do have a few of those things. We have a wooden set 
um, for pizza and we have some of those plush um, vegetables and fruits and things like that so they do play with those things but the things that they love to play with the most are things that they make up themselves out of paper <laughs> so I'm learning not to feel like I need to have something that I purchased in order for them to play and to learn um, they're perfectly fine with it so why would I feel like I needed to actually purchase something for it to be legitimate pretend play but anyway I think I'm getting off topic what I'm saying is that I'm always constantly trying to do better with my purchases in the beginning I just purchased a lot of things thinking that was going to make homeschool better and it did make me feel better because shopping always makes you feel better for the time being but I noticed that you know a lot of those things we weren't using they would play with a little bit and then they'd just be hanging around as stuff and that just wasn't learning and it wasn't a good use of my money. I just wanted to sit down and talk about that and talk about how I have been using that to my advantage. I give them a lot of time and a lot of space to start creating things on their own and normally for my kids that's with paper. Um, so when I see that they are making paper toys for longer periods of time, I try to pay attention to what they're making and how they're playing with it and then that helps me make better decisions when I go on to purchase items that I think would enhance their play and their learning. So after spending so much time over the last month or so um, playing store and um, purchasing items and being able to use our math skills and things like that, I have decided that we should go ahead and look into purchasing a cash register and then also maybe some play money. Um, because that would really help enhance how we're learning about money um, we can talk about giving saving and spending ultimately um, I like to take advantage of those times when we're in the store and we actually do have to purchase items and um, I I put a lot of emphasis on actual communications with cashiers and exchange of money and things like that but we just don't get that much practice at it because we are not constantly at the stores purchasing things um, because the way my life is set up and our budget <laughs> but anyway um, so I thought that that would be a good purchase because it would give us an opportunity to practice a lot more and it would just enhance their already you know the pretend play that they have already started on their own with the paper items uh, I don't want this to be a long video I just wanted to pop in in between folding my clothes and talk about how I use pretend play to make better purchasing decisions and a lot of times for us that is through paper products I just didn't know like what are some of the things that you guys do to make sure that you're making good purchases in homeschool and, and do you guys use pretend play and now I have to get back to folding all these clothes I really wish someone would come help me you know um, just in case you guys wanted to see how I am set up today I will gladly show you okay <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching make sure that you are subscribed if you want to continue to see videos from us about our homeschooling journey I bought this little side table out of the living room and a stack of books and that is where you guys were. You can visit our blog at serenabblog.com backslash homeschool, our Instagram at serenab, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!